go to the first module of week 8 that is virtual currency. We are going to discuss about virtual currencies in this module. Of course, we are all living in the digital era. Digital currencies have started becoming more and more popular and people started using it as well as investing it in digital currencies. It is a type of digital currency present in electronic form. Electronic currencies are stored and transacted through digital wallets using internet. The term virtual currency came into existence around the year 2012. The European Central Bank defined the virtual currency as a way to classify digital money types in an unregulated environment which are issued and controlled by its developers and used as a payment method among members of a specific virtual community. This is the absolute definition of virtual currency. Virtual currencies are issued, managed and controlled by private issuers, developers or the funding organization. The money is not issued by a central bank or any other banking regulatory authority unlike the regular money which we are all using. They are prone to fluctuations in their monetary value due to the lack of a centralized regulatory authority. The value is derived based on certain mechanisms such as mining in cryptocurrencies or the other backing by the underlying asset. Normally, three terms are used in this connection. 1. Digital currency. 2. The virtual currency. And the third one is a cryptocurrency. Digital currency is a very broad term that is used. It covers a wide group representing monetary assets that are in the digital form. Whereas virtual currency or virtual money is a type of unregulated digital money which is issued and controlled by its developers that are accepted and used among the members of a specific virtual community as we saw earlier. The third type is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are those which are secured cryptographic techniques for authentic transactions and for managing and controlling the creation of new currency units. Digital currency is overall superset as I told you in the beginning that includes virtual currency as well as cryptocurrencies. Digital currencies are issued by a country's central bank as a flat currency notes but Virtual currencies are subsets of digital currencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum are the cryptocurrencies which are subsets of the virtual currency group. Most of us might have heard about that. Virtual currencies can be implemented in various forms depending on platforms such as social networks, social games, loyalty points and peer-to-peer -peer networks. Generally, there are two categories of virtual currency platforms. They are centralized virtual currency platforms and the second one is the decentralized virtual currency platforms. A virtual currency system that resembles to the central bank in terms of the central repository is known as a centralized virtual currency platform. Here, the transferring of virtual currency takes place between individuals 
from one location to the other location and these are monitored and maintained by that particular repository administrator. In contrast, a virtual currency system that does not possess a centralized repository with no single administrator is referred to as the decentralized virtual currency platform. It can be obtained through a manufacturing or a computing process. We see the most significant or important methods used here. As we saw earlier, the centralized and decentralized platforms are used by various business organizations. There are two predominant ways it can be used. One, obtaining or generating the virtual currency. Second, spending and exchanging the virtual currency. These are the two important stages. Since there is no universal virtual currency across the digital medium, there are several different ways and methods to obtain or generate the virtual currencies. Some of the common methods used here are pay for virtual currency method, offer based method, loyalty based method and the fourth one is self effort based method. We will see one after the other. Pay for virtual currency method. This method is used to pay real money or its equivalent monetary in the place of virtual currency. This may include prepaid cards, credit cards or any e-payment systems such as PayPal. The amount of money purchased has its own complement price and exchange rate based on the type of virtual currency platform. The purchased virtual currency in this method is stored in buyer's account which is created within the platform by the operators. The other method is the offer based method. Offer based methods are one of the safest forms of earning virtual currencies. When the users are unable to spend real money for virtual currencies, they choose this offer based method. It may include survey answering, watching advertisement videos, registering for a trial subscription of products or services or winning maximum level in a game. Next one is loyalty based method. This method is based on the loyalty of the customer towards the commercial companies or games. They are all rewarded with vouchers, sometimes gifts and discounts for their loyalty. These rewards can also take the form of credit points during every purchase of goods or services. These points are redeemable and can be used in exchange of virtual currency for future purchases. Users can make use of these loyalty points in terms of virtual currency. Next is the self effort based method. Decentralized virtual currency platforms say for example Bitcoin. This makes use of self effort based method to generate peer to peer networks virtual currency. Here Bitcoins are usually generated in peer networks and so they are fixed, immutable and have only finite generation of virtual coins. This makes them different from centralized virtual currency platforms. Computer systems possess special software that can produce virtual currencies by solving complex mathematical puzzles which are generated as a slower process and are distributed to the network and the system users in a random manner. These virtual coins are fully controlled and managed by users and can be stored locally in the user devices such as our digital wallets. <music> Spend 
spending and exchanging virtual currency can further be divided into two main categories namely exchanging virtual currency for virtual items within the virtual environment second exchanging the virtual currency for real items both these categories face many challenges and issues and it is very predominant in the second category let us see one after the other first exchanging virtual currency for virtual items many online games and social networks are increasingly becoming popular for exchange of virtual currency for virtual items for example games provide an interactive environment for the gamers by providing options for changing the look of the characters for this the user has to purchase some virtual items using the virtual currency earned through their completing levels of the games at times they may also require purchasing successive game levels using virtual currencies for example bitcoins are used as virtual currencies for buying virtual items second one is exchanging virtual currency for real items exchanging virtual currency for real item may include money goods as well as services they are virtual currency to real money virtual currency to real goods and virtual currency to services what is virtual currency to real money here the virtual currency can be exchanged for real cash for this purpose the user needs a connection between the business and the real money systems for exchanging the virtual currency for a real cash again bitcoin is an example of the virtual currency that can be exchanged for real cash many online markets with the help of exchange rate are used for exchanging the bitcoins for real money second one virtual currency to real goods in this form the user uses virtual currency for buying real goods such as clothes sunglasses and many more products these products are bought using virtual currencies earned through game platforms for example the win currency can be exchanged for real goods and commodities like clothes accessories and precious metals the third category is virtual currency to services in this form the exchange of virtual currency is with the services for example gamers and users earn points through their games and other applications to buy services such as free messages and calling another example is avias points these are earned to provide offers for the traveling services or insurance and upgrading their cabins class in british airways 